Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Force Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be commentating a game between Run Aground and Duck Load Raw, also known as White Raw. So this is White Raw versus Run Aground. Uh, White Raw being our blue Protoss player over here, and the red Terran player is Run Aground. Now we are looking at a game here on Metalopolis. So Terran versus uh, is Protoss right here on Metalopolis. And as far as their positions are concerned, they're relatively close as the crow flies. <laughs> I bet you haven't heard that in a while. They're relatively close as the crow flies, but when it comes to ground troops, they're actually somewhat far away, and obviously not as far as if they were in this diagonal position. But in the positions they are, their units have to run down this ramp, which is facing opposing directions, and then wrap all the way around over here. So much further away than if they were in this directly near position, and their units could go from base to base. Now what this means is both players can probably feel relatively safe to expand. Also, when it comes to the later game, they do have pretty much the option of taking about half the map it's fairly easy for them to jump from expansion to expansion without having to worry about anything it's really that high yield in the center that does become difficult to get to and defend if you move up here you know there are so many entrances as well as this big space right behind the base for any air units or any drops it becomes very difficult to defend if you have to expand to this position Right off the bat, both players doing very standard things. Run aground coming down with that 12 barracks. We did see that 10 supply depot, 13 refinery, bam, right there. So pretty standard opening thus far. For White Raw, pretty much the same thing. A simulator going down at about 14. There is that gateway that came down about 12 and that 9 pylon. Now, both players scouting in the incorrect base, but they're going to be passing each other very shortly. We're going to see if they're going to do a high five, maybe a little pinch of the butt, a little slap on the rear. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I'm sorry. I've been a little kooky lately, uh, doing lots of things when it comes to getting ready for Christmas. Also going to be moving shortly, so I think I'm reaching the end of my wire pretty much. But I still want to get some content out for you guys. Still wanted to cast some games, so let's jump right back into it. Marine coming out here for run aground, so getting some early units, obviously, what you want to do. Probably going to be pushing out with that Marine if he can do that, or maybe waiting for a couple Marauders as well, pushing out. Early aggression tends to do very well against Protoss, so if that's what he decides to do, he could do quite a bit of damage. Over here for White Ross, Cyber Next Core coming down. Obviously, that came down right after this gateway came up. Coming out with that early game Zealot, the point is to kind of chase around this SCV, stop him from scouting as much as possible. However, the SCV is going to stay out of range as long as microed properly, and I'm sure Run Aground is capable of doing that. Second Assimilator coming down for White Raw as well, also dropping a pylon back here, trying to get some vision over here. Obviously, the pylon has its use of preventing him from getting supply blocked, but the purpose of placing it behind this smoke screen is to get any vision back here to see if any drops or anything funny like that's going on. Also, a lot of uh, Terran players actually like to build factories in their base when they're in this position, fly it on over to the smoke screen and build something like Hellions inside of the opponent's base. Something you can try, but if your opponent's smart enough to scout it, not going to work. Early Tech Lab as well as Concussive Shell coming out and two Marauders. So it does look like Run Aground intends on doing some early aggression. You can see there have been no additional buildings for him. He's just going to be pushing out early. He does have that one Marine, that Marauder, so it looks like he in tens doing some scouting as well trying to find this probe right here obviously nice and safe sitting by the Zelnaga tower luckily for white raw though in seeing the Zelnaga tower he is going to be aware and see this push coming he sees that scv he sees that marauder there's that marine so he's going to be well aware of the fact that an early attack is coming is he prepared for he has the one stalker the one zealot he's going to need something else what does he have coming out of the gateway the sentry that is exactly what he needs dropping a force field is pretty much what is going to stop him from taking too much damage from run around getting some pop shots off of the high ground over in runaround's base you can see more uh there's a reaper coming out as well as the command center being dropped and that second barracks third barracks coming down as well trying to move up into white raw's base force field going down choking off the ramp right there blocking that marauder putting him up top and making pretty much easy pickings for white raw that's very unfortunate for runner ground basically runner ground what he was trying to do you can see that expansion is just about finished now but he wanted to distract white raw as much as possible and try to do a lot of damage but because of that force field his units back here that marina marauder weren't able to push into white raw's base and as a result uh runner ground was unable to do as much damage as he would like coming down with this bunker to basically defend against the possibility of a counterattack reaper inside of white raw's base but some good micro over here by white raw taking out that reaper as you can see drop down there pretty much no problem we do have a robotics facility as well as a second gateway coming up i'm um, still not sure what he's going to be intending on getting we did see that observer come out for white raw getting a full scan so he sees this barracks heavy army um this barracks heavy production facilities rather he knows at this point there's no factory no starport he doesn't have to worry about later tech units pretty much just the marine and the marauder unfortunately though until he techs up past this 
gateway uh, tech, it's going to be hard for him to deal with it because Marines and Marauders do very well against Stalkers, Sentries, and Zealots. We can see, however, Robotics Bay coming down for White Raw as well as this expansion. So he too intends on expanding as well. Using this Observer to get some vision of the high ground, going to use his range units, trying to take out that Supply Depot. However, with these Marines and Marauders pushing forward, it's going to be a little too much for just the Stalker and the Sentry to handle. Another Marauder coming down as well. White Rod definitely does not have enough units to engage it. Two more Stalkers coming down, though. Looks like he's pushing forward. Going to try to do an engagement. We can see here another Marauder coming down as well, though. SCV forced to pull down, trying to repair that Supply Depot. Is it going to live? Yes, it is. These Marauders, you can see just how effective they are against early game gateway units. Uh, Marines and Marauders are very strong against gateway units early game. You really have to tech up to Colossus or High Templar to deal with an effectively large Marine Marauder ball. And we can see that is exactly what White Rod intends on doing we see this colossus coming out right now still trying to be a nuisance trying to pick off this uh, supply depot very i'm sure this is very frustrating for run ground is it going to drop almost so close and it does go down mission accomplished for white rod probably gonna have to pull back these units so definitely not going to win this fight to all of this marines and marauders as far as back here in the base factory finally coming down so it looks like run ground is planning on switching his tech trying to get some probably siege tanks is what we're likely to be seeing uh, that would be kind of be the intuitive decision at least over here for white, white ross still running off these two gateways now that he finally does have this expansion up he's going to be able to afford some additional gateways so let's see if he plans on dropping any more first colossus right about out the second colossus should be falling shortly thereafter you can see that building right now at this point in the game, White Raw is actually pretty vulnerable to oh, this Marine Marauder push, except at the very moment that that Colossus comes out. As soon as that Colossus drops on the board, White Raw is going to feel pretty comfortable at this point. Now, at this point, we can see here, um, apparently, run aground one way or the other, either suspects or knows that uh, that his opponent does have this Colossus because he's got that starport, got that reactor coming, so he's probably going to be getting Vikings. The other choice, of course, is Medivacs. He may be getting those as well, so maybe he does no Colossus are out yet. Maybe he's just deciding to get Medivacs. Either way, going to be effective with these Marines and Marauders, uh, both Vikings and Medivacs. Going to do a nice job of supplementing the, his army over here. First Colossus out again. Like I said, second Colossus coming out. Uh, we're seeing that extended thermal lance upgrade coming down for white raw are we going to see another expansion no it looks like he's just planning on running off of these two bases right now still no more production buildings a little surprised because he can definitely afford at least one more gateway again the general idea is you can support about three to four bases um three to four production buildings per base as protoss so finally two more gateways coming down realize that's going to depend on the types of units you're getting usually like if you're if you're planning on getting colossus you can support about two gateways if you plan on just getting a mortal you can probably support three gateways because that's kind of the general idea but in the vicinity of three to four buildings is what you can support off of one base so i was surprised to see these gateways just now come down but obviously white rod knows what he's doing good job still keeping those minerals pretty low keeping up that production high probably having to delay these gateways because of spending money on that thermal lance now it looks like we are seeing a push that was a medevac that did come out for run aground does he have any vikings coming out as well yes finally transitioning into vikings so he is expecting or he has already seen that colossus not sure if he scanned or not i didn't see also going to be seeing a drop back here. Um, so it looks like he's going to be trying to do a two-pronged attack. Dropping in the back of White Raw's base is likely to what uh, is what going to happen as well. He's also going to try to push at the front to try to distract. However, lots of units sitting in the base. Three Colossus here, tons of Zealots, a few Stalkers, and Sentries mixed in there as well. So this is going to be plenty of force to deal with what that frontal push could possibly bring for Run Aground. Vikings are going to help kind of even the odds a little bit for Run Aground, however. Um, so we'll see what he intends on doing still not making use of that dropship kind of just chilling out back there uh taking the long way apparently his units needed some uh <laughs> some warm-up laps before they engaged in the battle definitely taking the longest possible route i'm guessing he was aware of this observer so trying to avoid that wrap all the way around and then try to engage from the side looks like that's probably what run around's decision is going to be however he should be a little worried about these colossus again he doesn't have quite enough vikings at the moment to really deal with that uh if white rod does a good job of keeping his colossus back it's going to be very hard for runner ground to engage so finally after that long jog all the way around the map he's just about where he needs to be to start doing some damage right outside of white raw's base where are white raw's units right over here nuking that drop i'm sorry that i missed it drop went down and apparently white raw had no problem with it you just saw those melted marines right there colossus pushing forward he still has no idea this guy is sneaking attacking right in the back white raw is not aware of these units being placed right here he's moving down trying to check for them 
This is the perfect opportunity for Runner Ground. Please attack White Raw. Try to take out that expansion with Stimpak. He could probably drop that before these units engage. But White Raw finally pulling back to his base. So he missed his window of opportunity. And Runner Ground is looking to be in a very dangerous spot. Colossus moving forward as well as those Stalkers. Stimming trying to run away. He's going to be able to run away because of that Stimpak, but not forever. And he doesn't have enough Medivacs to really heal up his units. Duckload Raw taking this advantage to cut and run straight to Runner Ground's base. Going to try to take it out. Out, gonna try to get back to his base before runner ground does is runner ground gonna even have units to defend this is a very tenuous situation I'm not sure his units are gonna be there in time and there's so many Colossus and like I said not just not enough Vikings for runner ground Vikings trying to move forward to snipe the Colossus they're gonna want to pull back those Colossus uh, charge going down for those zealots though melting those Marauders no problem very unfortunate for runner ground he lost about half of his units having his units split up into two different positions pretty much that could have just lost him the game right there he lost a lot of marauders without doing much of any damage although he is on three bases to white raws two the fact that white raw has so many colossus right now it's going to make it difficult as well as those charge lots charge zealots do an excellent job with against marines and marauders coupled with these colossus here so we're going to see exactly what's going to happen pulling forward dropping down that guardian shield he is going to take out this expansion in a matter of seconds all of those SCVs melting away. Zealots running in, just trying to take them out. And look at that expansion just drop. Absolutely nothing he can do about it. Trying to move forward with these Vikings. Trying to pinch off some of these Colossus. Take them off while they're in the back. Basically pick off the weak units. Chilling out in the back. But no, White Rod does a good job of pulling his Colossus away from those Vikings. And White Rod has just been continuously doing damage. And picking off the units from Runner Ground without any response. Runner Ground tried to do that drop in the back of the base. And you can see again, <laughs> tried to do another drop. This Medivac's like I give up I, I don't feel like working anymore today engagement going down Vikings moving forward not engaging though what are they doing I know they're trying to run, run away from those stalkers but they need to do some sort of damage charge lots pretty much making quick work of these marauders you can see how easily they caught up and took out about half of them still pretty much none of these Colossus have really taken any damage this one's still alive just barely and run aground is very short on marauders right now doesn't have enough to defend no siege tank stuck to marine marauder medevac viking clearly that is not enough against his colossus tech really it's really unfortunate for run aground he basically just got caught out of position multiple times uh, lost his bases missed opportunities like when he was sitting right here and white raw was moving on over here and uh very unfortunate again for run aground he definitely had a few chances to at least do some damage and try to put white raw behind but he just didn't capitalize on those and losing about half of his force over here definitely hurt him as well so once again guys this has been force from force strategy gaming just commentating game for you today uh, like i said in my prior commentary i'm going to be trying to mix it up put out these commentaries for you it's much easier for me to do so i want to be doing it in addition to add more content to the channel so again if you like the commentaries please let me know if i get a good reception to this if it gets a good response i will continue to do it in addition to all of our normal strategy videos once again guys this has been force force strategy gaming as always thanks for watching keep watching and keep owning guys getting the speed no not quite yet um still again macroing up getting some roaches though looks like he is getting ready for a push zerglings right out there gonna spot this push coming from adele scott is he gonna be prepared for it? he should have enough i'm pretty sure he's sitting on plenty of larva uh i could be wrong though no he's got plenty of larva there so Going to be coming out with some additional roaches. This should help him defend against the push. Uh, proxy pylon coming down from Adele Scott as well. So